Hello, uh, a couple of my friends and people have been asking me how do I style my hair, so I figured I'd make a quick video, show you how to do it. Um, I use a couple of different things to style my hair. I use a boar hair brush, a firm one to get the sides down. I use one of these open back combs for the uh, slicking it back initially after the application. I use one of these uh, regular styling combs, although this one's a cricket. I like this one um, for slicking it as well. And then I use this for making the actual, whoops, almost dropped it, <laughs> making the actual pompadour. So uh, the haircut I have right now is uh, really short on the sides and I'm leaving it long on top. I don't have a uh, hard part. My hair just started growing um, really heavily like this and I haven't been able to really <laughs> grow it back out. And it is the summer, so I just, uh, I've just uh, told them to keep it short on the sides. So anyways, uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna be using uh, cock grease, but the cool grease version the water-based one, not the uh, American one. So I wet my hair a little bit and then uh, apply a good amount because I have a lot of hair on top. Some people start from the back of the crown. I've tried that. I usually, what I'll do is I start at the very top of the crown do some of the sides and then the back. So I'll probably, I usually do three scoops, one for the top uh, of my head going back, one for my crown going forward, and then one for the sides. And uh, if you haven't used cool grease before for a water base, I suggest you do it. I have um, really thick hair and cool grease, works really well for a gel type water base. The cock grease uh, doesn't really harden up that much and uh, kind of keeps it to where it's not really like an oil based but it keeps it to where it won't fall out but it won't be a helmet hair like Suavecito so I like it like that. The cool grease blue is kind of like a between a light and a medium. Use a little bit more. Uh, I haven't got to use the red yet, but I've used the fiber grease as well, and a lot of people like that. Um, holds pretty well. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick or wet them down. Okay. So, now I'll uh, slick it back with this. Depending on what you're using, you might get various forms of tugging. Now this is uh, the technique I use when doing all the slicking, is I'll slick the sides up and over, not necessarily like just back. I'll slip them kind of diagonally over towards the back of my head like this. It'll start kind of making a pop up like that. And then once I get that side good and slicked over and applicated, I'll do the same. For this side, kind of slick it over so you notice it's kind of making my top of my head look like an ice cream cone. And then I'll just slick it straight back like that. Kind of get it to where it's not perfectly flat in the back, but just going um, like this. And then combing it down. All right, done with that. So now, same thing with the actual comb. Uh, a little bit harder. I'm not very good about combing my hair out after the shower, so I get tangled super easy. And it hurts. Something I should probably be on the ball about, but hey, whatever. Okay. So for me, too, I uh, work out a lot out in the heat. So I try, like... Today it's supposed to be like, I think 102. So I try to get, I do wear oil bases. I have a, a pretty big collection. Um, 
of oil and water, but I try to wear water while I'm at work, depending on the day. If it's a cool day, I'll wear a oil base, but... <clears throat> okay, looking good. So then, here's my technique. I got this slick going this way, this one going back. So then I go right in the middle with this, and I just pull the middle up. Just the middle. And I'll pull it up and let it fall down. So we got the middle part slicked, or popped up, and so then I'll put my hand on the base back here of my crown, and I just pop this up. And I'll pop it up, like, ridiculously high. And you'll see why I'm gonna do that in a minute. So now we got it pretty high. I'm gonna grab my comb again and slick the sides that I just knocked up back down. You can see some of my hair is coming out. Okay, we got it good again. Okay. <clears throat> oh, here's what it looks like from the side. I don't know. So it's really tall up and kind of, it's kind of going like this. So now that I have it like that, what I'll do is just put my comb in, my pick in, and push forward, pull out forward on my hair. And you'll see that that will put it down into a nice round, or at least rounder shape. It's harder to get a good round shape with water base. So by just taking that really tall and pulling out really slow like that, I do it faster because I'm trying to get ready to go to work. But you can see I took that really far forward one and turned it more into a rounder one. And you can pick up the strays by running your comb or some water over the top of it. So now, for work, and I'll, oh, I'll take the little comb too, that's the final part, to make it even more rounder. In the front, just do the same exact thing I was doing with the pick, and now it's kind of got a more, not as big popped forward shape, but it's still a good pomp, mini pomp, I guess you could say. Work safe pomp. <laughs> there we go. That's looking all right. So then I'll grab my boar hair brush and I'll just do the same thing I was doing before. Up and over. Like this. And then I just kind of hit the crown, upper crown of my head and I'll smooth it all back. Real good like. Sides, smooth the sides in. Like that. Get all the strays and get it really matted in there so that uh, nothing's not moving. Now, this isn't perfect, but this is the technique that works for me. A lot of people have different techniques, but this is how I get pretty good style pomp with every, every single time I style my hair. And if you find that there's some areas that are un that are ununiform, like what I just did here, by accidentally kind of combing over my part with my brush, then you can just comb it back and pop it out in the front again. I mean, as I'm sure you've seen in other styling videos, you can take <laughs> forever doing this. So I'm just giving you kind of the uh the basic gist. This is the same way I do it when I have my sides thrown out long as well. Although instead of using the brush on the sides, I would uh, use the wide tooth comb to give it kind of a wider grip on the sides. And then I would use the brush along the back part of the ducktail to make it stick in. So that's uh, my work pompadour. Here's what it looks like. And uh, here's what I used. So uh, let me know if you want to see any more videos or reviews of stuff. Mini review of this. Smells like pineapple. I love it. Scoops out good. A little bit harder than the fiber wax if you use the fiber wax. Easy to restyle, keep your hair in place, but will also keep it looking um, a little bit shiny, not too shiny, but if you're used to helmet hair or you need helmet hair for work, like what I do because I'm, I do durable, I do DME, durable medical equipment, that's basically um, 
moving a lot of equipment for hospice individuals. I need something because I'm constantly bending over to put equipment up and fix equipment. I need something that's not going to fall out in the back. So I definitely uh, like the concrete extra, extra hard. Now I think it has a wolf on the front and I think it's called something different because of the cool grease line changed it because the actual cock grease in America. Anyways, guys, have a good day. Hope uh, that helped you with your pump styling.